find the orthogonal complement W perp of subspace W and give a basis for this orthogonal complement. So to get us started, let's begin by recalling that for an M by N matrix A, that subspace W is equal to the column space of matrix A, and that the orthogonal complement of W is equal to the null space of A transpose. So looking at this given subspace W, we can see that this subspace consists of the vectors of the following form. So we have the vector with components x, y, z, and this is such that x is defined as t by 2, that y is defined as minus t by 2, and that z is defined as 6t. So we can pull that common scalar t to the front, which leaves us with the vector with components 1 half minus 1 half 6. And this is such that t is any scalar our little hearts desire. Now, giving us a little bit more room, we can use this decomposition to help us make the following conclusions. So from here, we can say that W is in the column space. of matrix A with the components 1 half, negative 1 half, 6. And so therefore, W perp is in the null space of A transpose. So interchanging the rows and columns, A transpose is defined as 1 half, negative 1 half, 6. Now, to find the orthogonal complement of subspace W, or in other words, the null space of A transpose, we need to solve the matrix equation defined as A transpose times vector x being equal to the zero vector. So in other words, we need to row reduce A transpose augmented with the zero vector to row reduced echelon four. So here we go, we have A transpose, one half, negative one half, six, and looking at this matrix, the only thing that we need to do to attain row reduced echelon form is to scale this first row by a factor of two, which leaves us with the matrix with entries one, negative one, 12. So this is letting us know that x sub one is equal to x sub two minus 12 times x sub three. That x sub two is a free variable and that x sub 3 is a free variable. So with this solution, we can now state that w perp is the set of vectors of the following form. So we have a vector x in R3 with the components x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3. And we know that x sub 1 is being defined as x sub 2, minus 12 times x sub 3, that x sub 2 is a free variable, so it's just itself, and that x sub 3 is also a free variable, so it's just itself. In decomposing this, we have the scalar multiple x sub 2 multiplied by the vector 1, 1, 0, plus x sub 3 multiplied by the vector negative 12, 0, 1. So from here, we can make the final conclusion that the null space of A transpose, which we know is equal to the orthogonal complement of subspace W, is equal to the span of the two vectors, 1, 1, 0, negative 12, 0, 1. So this is our final answer for the orthogonal complement of subspace W, which also forms a basis for this orthogonal complement, making this our beautiful final answer.